All right, y'all, welcome back to part two, where we actually install our brand new Cobb Redline full carbon intake. You know, this shit's sexy as hell. We broke in the warranty finally. Yeah, so last week we had, or last video, we had installed turbo inlet, but same day, different, two different videos. So let's go ahead and start. I bought this off of somebody for cheaper the price. So all the hoses are here and it's all attached already. So it should be a pretty decent, easy install. All right, so first step, pretty much also you can take out the whole air box. Uh, I already did it because it is for last video already. But um, after that, I'm gonna go back to look back at the last video. After that, uh, take out these two bolts and it should still be the two hardware, but just take out the two bolts and take this whole attachment off. After taking those out, go ahead and move down to the actual intake. Take off the, oh, sorry, I told you in the video. Take off the actual sensor that goes in it and it should mount right inside of the bottom part of the intake and it should have two screws to screw it in. All right, so we have to get the sensor in. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand and record everything, but pretty much put the intake back into the car and then I'll show you where to put it down. All right, so after putting it in, I had to put the flashing, y'all see? Those two holes should line up right there and then use the same bolt for the old intake and just mount it into there and there should be another one right there. And then after that, we can move on to the bottom. Oh after God, that, I gotta get out of here. put these in, tighten down the hose clamp, and then this should go all the way up and reach the intake. Uh, should be like right here, out here. Sorry, can't find it. And then it should reach the intake right there. All right, so we have all the hoses connected to the inlet hose. This is actual metal hose straight to the intake itself. Next up is getting the actual uh, extension of the sensor. Pushing it in, should go one right there and one right here. I have to work the stuff from the top, but I just want to get under to show y'all real quick. But, let you know how it goes. All right, after getting in the sensor. All right, y'all, so this is about like two, three days later, and the actual hardware for the intake finally came. Uh, so here is some more of this stuff, uh, some more of that, and then obviously we have another one of these. Pretty much, I'll show y'all to put those in. It was kind of a lazy install because I really wanted to get this in the car, but now I can actually fully put it in. And all we have to do is pretty much with these, you have to put the rubber grommets back into the intake itself and put the bolts back in. But I don't know how well this is gonna do because it's kind of in the way, but we'll see, we'll see. And then we'll just take out that bolt, put another black bolt and then a push clip down there. And then for the actual sensor, I don't know if I'll be able to reach it. And I don't feel like taking the whole intake out. If I do, then I'll replace it. If not, then it's also good. But that's what most of these are for. And the black bolts are meant to actually hold in the intake and two of those are actually meant for this, but it's all good. So let me just put the camera down and see if I can get these out. So we got the rest of the hardware. Here's the new ones. This rubber grommet's kind of ripped. So it won't sit flush, but this is still very sturdy compared to what it was before. Before I can like move it back and forth and stuff. Same with this one. This one looks good. This one looks a little different. You know, there's nothing wrong with being different. So I got that new bolt down there. I'm gonna y'all can tell right there. I got a push up down there. And now this thing is not moving anywhere. But pretty much the whole process is uh, start off, you know, obviously unclip the tabs. Obviously you wouldn't do this like me. You're doing it, you get a new intake and install yourself. So you would uh, uh, get these 12 millimeters out, which holds in the radiator on both sides. His other side, but it's getting hidden by this. Then you would pop it out, put in the new screws. Like how pretty much like the new screws was under the actual like mounting point right here. Then you put the, oh, I me, mean, rest the intake on top, rest the, put the bolt in and then put the push clip down there. Uh, it's a little bracket, y'all you'll, you'll see it, but Pretty much now, this thing is not going anywhere. Before, this was actually like, since like the actual push clip right here wasn't meant for this, it would actually like shake back and forth while you're driving. And now you couldn't hear it, but I can tell for sure. But now everything's all secured. And that's now the end of the day's video. Make sure y'all go down, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, y'all get posted whenever I post. And tune in next week for, I don't know what I'm posting next week yet, but it's either gonna be some 
new rain guards because these are ass or more carbon interior or maybe it's exterior well that's a sneak peek for both of y'all so yeah, i'll see y'all later and uh make sure you subscribe join the journey and get posted whenever i post about hitting the bell notification